But yeah, most of the, the elements of Wyatt's habitat, like the rockwork and stuff, I've all kept just because I was lazy. I thought you were going to say, oh, yeah, because I really liked it. But no, 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 yeah, no, no, no. I yeah. was lazy. You didn't, you didn't, you didn't <laughs> like it. You just, you just gave up. <laughs> Hello everyone, just Gordon here, and welcome back to another episode of St. Reginald. I am joined by Eben and Wyatt. Hello. Hello. And yeah, we're back on my channel. Of course, last episode oh we God, looked at again. the amazing <laughs> stuff that user did. Uh, but I also wanted to have a go because I had I had some plans too. So, yeah, and you made an entire stream dissing Wyatt. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it, it was only part of it. We're yeah, not gonna... just going to be dissing Wyatt today, okay? <laughs> I, know, I know, I know, I know. We, we, We're going to be we dissing Eben. We are dedicating this episode to a special person, and that person would love me to diss Eben as well. So that's why oh, we're here. damn, yeah, that's true. <laughs> so let's get started right away. Um, over here, we have a view of the otter habitat uh, that Wyatt built, and I made some changes to it. And one of those changes is um, the fact that we're able to view it from over here right now. We are across oh, from the polar bears, nice. and there's an additional viewing area. And that's something that I had in mind um, when we discussed the initial plans for the other habitat. Um, that I wanted to create some viewing points for the, from this side uh, that would not have too many cross views um, with the other viewing area. So I that's think, what I tried. I think that was something I that like. That's that's a reason I didn't do that is because I didn't want cross viewing. But yeah, I I did a lot of uh, tactical foliage placing to <laughs> <laughs> eliminate them as much as possible uh, to varying cool. degrees of success. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. It's just yeah. just so that you have something else to look at while you're also coming by I, the polar bears. I, I I keep enjoying the fact that our zoo is like an onion. There's so many layers. Like you have <laughs> you have the the building with the um, um, the building that I made, the R Red River Hog building, in oh, the back, yeah. and then you have the mm -hmm. the skyscrapers in the back. It's it's just yeah, it's really nice. And that's something that I've also emphasized, which we'll look at <clears throat> right now because Ooh. none of this area is is finished. This is also a nice spot to put maybe a garden or something. I just threw some plants oh, yeah. down, but it's not yeah. not nearly finished. So don't don't look at it too much. Okay, I'll but get yeah. my ask first. Coming uh, into the rivers with a beautiful sign that even made, and he forgot to send us the billboard. So. <laughs> <laughs> even if you wanted, if you wanted a custom font, you could have asked me. <laughs> yeah, no, but I, I you, nah, it was too cool it's, to be included. Cool. I, I, I do, one. I do like it in this case. <laughs> yeah. So we are back at the Otter Springs, and uh, it's a little different from from what Wyatt did. Um, if you watched the stream that I did, then you'll know roughly what plan I had in mind. And here we have the execution of that plan. So I kept as much of Wyatt's stuff as possible. Things like the railings, his amazing sign, although I made a couple of tweaks to it. Um, but yeah, some things like his canopy, uh, the fact that you had an elevated, like you had to go up to look at the underwater viewing. Those are things that I didn't agree in, with completely. In <laughs> so retrospect, I, I truly have no idea what I was doing. <laughs> <laughs> I think, because that was the last thing I did in my build, and I was just trying to, like, make something substantial, but mm. I was definitely oh, rushing this, it. Okay, this is really yeah. cool. This also, is awesome. it, it's, it's, it's incredibly funny to hear someone who basically changed someone else's build be so kind about it <laughs> after having spent it with mike who would just say ah no this is awful this is awful i hate it what you did here even I... <laughs> <laughs> like this is as far as i go okay it's, I've it's the entire like series guys. not touching anyone's <laughs> shit and i was like uh I'm, I'm not exactly happy with what you did here. <laughs> let, me just, let me just subtly change a couple of oh, things. But, so. but, okay, the effect that you wanted to create. Also, the use of... Is that gutter pieces for, like, the mm -hmm. end piece? Oh, that's really, really cool. Yeah, so awesome. to get the, to get the, the, di oops, to get the diagonal beams, I spent a little bit of time finding a piece that worked for it, and I ended up go going with the... 
They called her like that. You clever boy. Clever, clever boy. That's such an old piece and one (laughs) that most people have basically retired in favor of the rounder gutter pieces. Yeah, but it works so well, especially in combination with the Australia like metal beams. Yeah. uh, Oh my god. Yeah, this looks so good. But yeah, this was the concept that I had in mind with the the polar bear rock work in the back kind of giving a lot of extra depth to this habitat and... uh, yeah, that's no. what we got. The landscaping is so much better. I love the um, the diamond leaf willows sprinkled mm-hmm. about because um, yeah. they're like they're the, the structure of them. It's like a lot of branches at the bottom that you can see. Through yeah, there's I was. A, there's a canopy at the top. Yeah, I was looking for some plants that would give would allow you to see the otters crawling around on the ground still. Yeah, and uh, I thought this was a nice nice way to do it. Yeah, and yeah what we have cool. over here uh, is of course a nice like well. I want to say elevated, but it's actually ground level view where you can look over the crowds down here that are uh, watching the underwater viewing. Uh, also, if you're not able to take the stairs down, you still have a view of this area. That's um, such a nice like, solution for the wheelchairs. Yeah, yep. because that's that's something that sometimes I feel... Whoa, what was that? <laughs> ghost, oh, ghost it's, water. It's, that's them uh, ramming the freaking... <clears throat> it's something that zoos do. Some areas are not like, always accessible for wheelchairs, so they f- do solutions like this. And I think that sometimes by f- always going for a ramp, we forget that solutions like this exist. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah, so I awesome. kept the, the little submarine because uh, just like Wyatt, uh, they wouldn't dive without it. Um, just like Wyatt, that's <laughs> as if Wyatt's someone diving. No, but uh, I also installed the uh, the new updated oh, North American River Otter mod does by Norway. Really, I should notice the raccoon is swimming. <laughs> yeah, they love yeah. to do that as well, sadly. <laughs> Let's go down there. Oh, yeah, so you go down here. Oh, it's so cool. Oh, yes. Yeah, you get to see them dive around, which is really awesome. Yeah, this yeah is... most of the, the elements of Wyatt's habitat, like the rock work and stuff, I've all kept just because I was lazy. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to say, oh, yeah, because I really liked it. But no, 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 yeah, no, no, no I yeah. was lazy. You, 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 you didn't like it. You, 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 just, you just gave up. I just didn't, I just didn't have time to do it better. In but yeah. that time, you had a free day. Don't get me. Get, don't get yep. started. <laughs> exactly. So, um, yeah. Well, we just saw them, the raccoons, in here Ooh. as well. Um, we had the idea that it would be pretty awesome if we had a, a mixed habitat with both the raccoon as well as the North American River Otter. Ooh. There is no precedent for it in zoos at the moment, um, but there are other raccoon otter habitats like raccoons and Asian small clawed otters and uh, Eurasian otters. So I thought it wouldn't be too far-fetched to assume this would work as well. It's so, so pretty. I love that um, you can't you, you can't really see into like the creek bed, but you've got this like grassy lawn with the mm-hmm. um, I forget what these plants are called, the reeds. Um, oh yeah, the the yeah, the reeds. It, 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 <laughs> yeah. it, 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 it somehow feels so like whimsical without taking <laughs> me out of it because uh-huh. yeah. the bridge too. Yeah, yeah the yeah. bridge and the little house. That oh yes. <laughs> Yeah, the house is definitely inspired by uh, Rotterdam Zoo, uh, their raccoon habitat. In my in my head canon, these would have been two separate habitats in the past, mm-hmm. but at some point a raccoon may have gotten into the other habitat, and they noticed that hey, there's actually there's no like <laughs> dramatic <laughs> outcomes of this, so they started experimenting <laughs> with combining the two, and it all went well. So that's why they broke up the the barrier between the two, and now it's just one big I habitat. Love it. And it's it's awesome. like. It's like uh, Wyatt said, it's it's very, very whimsical, and that's really, really cool. Yeah. Um, but I still really love the creek. So uh, yeah. on top of mm-hmm. Otter Springs, which would have been the original Otter Habitat, um, we also have a new name for the other side of it. <gasps> uh, we've got Ooh! Raccoon Creek. And uh, this <laughs> is dedicated <laughs> to, <laughs> oh, to Altanen, uh, Altan and Cascani, um, our wonderful community manager which sadly has recently uh, left frontier so we wanted to just have a little little nod to them here uh, of course so one of our are... favorite animals mm. is raccoons so what's the meaning behind the symbols yeah so okay, so if i'm <laughs> correct here i mm-hmm. see a kingdom hearts logo. yeah i see a zelda logo 
Yep. And I, I assume that's the gender icon for non-binary. For non-binary, yes. Yeah, it is so cool. Yeah. And that's and I guess that's a raccoon on the end, but that could be a fox as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wonder what that is. Yeah. <laughs> so and we also have this this really nice viewing area over here. Uh, same style, different shape. Um, and, 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 you're, and you're doing one of the things that you like so much, which is continuing the creek on the other side yes. of the viewing yes. I was so, hoping you would do that. <laughs> I, I wonder what we'll build here for Habitat, but there is the opportunity to continue the creek on. So yeah, That's, that's, that's going to be uh, such an awesome view when it's done. Yeah. And oh, this, and the, this ooh, the reverse, reverse immersion with the planks going behind the glass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. of course, of course, of course. <laughs> so cool. And I could totally see a, like a raccoon like sunbathing on those. <laughs> yeah, yes. just sitting there. Yeah, I'm really happy with this view. It looks so oh, awesome. Oh my god. Just, and the uh, second little nod for Elf. <laughs> Ah, squirrel! <laughs> it's pretty <laughs> rapid, in, but it's there. <laughs> oh, so yeah, that is. Uh, <laughs> that's pretty much it for the uh, the raccoon and otters over this here. So much better than what I had. All right, I'm glad. I'm glad because honestly, <laughs> I, I sent even a message earlier this week where I was like, I have no idea what I'm doing with the other episode yet. <laughs> welcome, <laughs> welcome to my so world. <laughs> Why it's gonna be so pissed? I took down his shit because uh, and, I and felt you didn't, you didn't even do it in a nice way. You made you made an entire stream <laughs> out of the fact that you didn't like it. Come on. Dude. I mean, I didn't feel that bad until I took all of Wyatt's blueprints and I took them to the Wyatt blueprint graveyard. No, I I get my own. A specific Wyatt blueprint. That's so Kakao, embarrassing. Kakao. <laughs> because we took down so much of white shit and I feel so bad about it um, but yeah. oh, but anyway, oh, I, why I, we, we, we do need like a junkyard mm. an actual junkyard oh, there. An act, just an actual junkyard yes yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I, I also like exchanged the tree that Wyatt made for like an ash tree because it's actually climbable as oh, opposed yeah. to the tree that Wyatt had I ah. haven't seen the raccoons climb in it yet, and I don't think they ever will, but... <laughs> Worth a shot. In theory, uh, uh, it's possible. Now, now we're getting to the point where I'm going to get... Oh, <laughs> Ethan's turn to be yes. humiliated. I, I didn't just touch Wyatt's shit. <laughs> that was a much more pressing matter. <laughs> <laughs> Tell them what you had to do. I don't see any difference, Goron. This yeah, is exactly the same building. You didn't exactly, have to do it. Yeah, exactly the same thing. <laughs> so uh, even even sent me a message after his 19 and a half episode saying, you know, if you want, you can fix the roof. It's not that great. <laughs> so when I started my build week, I was like, oh yeah, let's have a look at this roof then. And I was like, what the hell did you do? <laughs> <laughs> I just didn't understand it. So I went through it and I'm like, wait, like I tried fixing it, tried just using the panels to get a nice smooth shape like I have now. And I realized the entire building's asymmetrical. <laughs> Nothing made sense. It's it's just a mess. Guys, <laughs> at least my stuff wasn't asymmetrical. <laughs> So, the, thing, the thing is that I noticed it was asymmetrical oh. when it was already too late, and I was like, You didn't bother to tell me. <laughs> I, you're just like, Yeah, can you fix the roof, please? <laughs> I, knew, I knew you were going to figure it out on your own. You're a big boy. So, <laughs> so yeah, I decided to just build the entire building from the ground up. And, oh, uh, really I actually cool. had a lot of fun doing it. Um, See, I just wanted you to have fun. Yeah, yeah. I made, <laughs> I made a bunch about. of, I made a couple of small changes to, to like the shape. It's actually a little bit smaller than it was, yeah. believe it or not. I, I, I like it smaller because like otherwise it's like a huge statement building and it's just a holding mm -hmm. facility for ungulates, yeah. so it probably shouldn't be. Yeah, but this was based on a a um, I think it was from the Bronx Zoo. A small, and it was a small deer building, is what it was called, and it was quite, quite make big. It that much smaller, okay? Just like a couple of meters. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. I just want to say, like, for a small deer, for a deer building, it was also quite, yeah, big and quite. I, I'm, I'm trying I mean, to find you a, need a lot of stables and stuff for the individual deers. And 
Goron, add the translation for the word imposant here, please. Thank you. <laughs> Speak American. I don't even know. I don't even know what that means. Oh my god. <laughs> but um, I think what was I think what was kind of throwing me about the original was the height. Um, I think it's a lot. Yeah. It's it's a good deal shorter now. I, I think I think lengthwise maybe, it was maybe it because was of the roof, but I don't think I made it that much shorter. Anyway, anyway. Um, <sighs> this is new because even very tactically in his episode avoided this side <laughs> of the building <laughs> because there was nothing here. Um, this was meant to be a something habitat, and um, yeah, it was meant to be a tapir habitat. Okay. But yes. <laughs> There you go. It's a day for Habitat now. <laughs> that hot so, wire looks really good with the yes. custom beams between. Yes. So, yeah, Tapir need a wall of about two meters high, uh, according to the husbandry manual. And this wall is only one meter high, so I let a little, add a little hot wire to make oh, sure that that awesome. uh, isn't an issue. Mm. Um, other than that, I was actually surprised to read the husbandry manual and find out that this is technically enough space for them. <laughs> it looks uh, a bit on the depressing side, I will say. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's, it's always nice when you say technically it has I enough think, space. Um, <laughs> I think what's I think what's making this um, depressing by modern husbandry standards is like the layout of the exhibit. Yeah. Because like if you made this like an immersive space with mm -hmm. like sufficient planting and stuff, people wouldn't notice. Yeah, yeah probably. But, but it's definitely. Uh, yeah, I, I just figured this building is probably on the list of like, we need to do something about this soon. Um, so that's <laughs> yeah. what I went with. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm picturing like these exhibits like being here until like the mid 2010s and then they do something with it. But like they, they're, they're still here for some reason. Yeah, I yeah. mean, they've, they've been lore wise, there have been such such big changes throughout the zoo that I think this kind of exhibit would still last for a, a much longer while than you would see in a, in a real zoo. <laughs> Oh, this yeah, is cool. On this side we have a little glass viewing oh, area for yes. the. Oh, I cool. love that. That's so fun. I love Hard. that the, I love that the glass like panel doesn't link yes. directly up with the fence. It's just some <laughs> in between. I was gonna say the exact same thing. I was like, yeah, I'll shut up because Wyatt is gonna see it. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, this is awesome. But yeah, I also uh, like that the sign is. To a point where it's almost completely overgrown, which yes, actually, I see that so happens. often. Yes, yeah, that's so. Real. I also maybe put it a little bit too much into the fence. Like, no, 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 no. I think it's. I think it's really good. I think it's just like, yeah, yeah. Just put the sign there. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Yeah, keep right. it there. It's really good. <laughs> but yeah, next up, uh, this is something that Eben made and I only had a small hand in, but we got another little gift for El Tenen just because we felt like it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's Boba. It's, yes. It's Boba. It's, so, uh, it's a new brand, Bubs, Bubs and Boba. <laughs> and it's a Boba tea. Yeah, a Boba tea? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> Yeah. So, uh, yeah, Altanen, this is for you. Uh, have fun. Thank you. Have thank you for being. For you. Thank, thank you for being such an awesome community manager. We, 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 are, we are dedicating this episode to you, and we haven't really spoken about that yet. <laughs> <laughs> but you've been an incredible community manager. I, I know I'm extremely biased here, but I think my two yeah, partners here can, I, can I, say I, the exact same. I mm -hmm. think from the moment that you joined it, it there was a a change in the wind that could be sensed yes. so thank you for that and i hope it lasts <laughs> <laughs> all right cool yeah. so i one detail i do want to point out over here so yeah, I, yeah i was, I, I I was gonna awesome. say <laughs> awesome I was gonna but, say. but yeah oh, so um oh Oh, I love the all oh, the doors. Wait, oh, the I don't doors. know. I don't. Oh, I don't know I why. Know. I don't know why I assumed those were like just regular pieces, like like single pieces. The doors. No. 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 no, no. And I understand how you how you've done them. And oh my god, yes. I don't. I I I don't <laughs> go up to them, please. <laughs> I mean, it's just it's not that hard. <laughs> oh, I see now, but still, that's so clean. Yeah, no, I was really happy with it. But yeah, I made an interior to this building because thank you, thank you. I'm so <laughs> happy that you you made this. <laughs> so I moved, I moved your sign in here. Yeah. Uh, I awesome. added some other things, but yeah, this, that, uh, 
that was the intention from the start, but there was no interior to put it in. <laughs> so uh, so uh, yeah. this interior over here is inspired by the zoo of Wuppertal, and the South America house to be exact. Uh, in that South America house, you have taper on one side and peccary on the other. So I thought mm. it was a perfect inspiration for tapers on one side and red river hogs on the other in this case. So uh, oh, that, that's what I did. So Wuppertal has the same setup with like these pillars and then these windows with the doors in them. There's a little Deeper hole access. in the wall. Yeah. There's a little hole in the wall. What? Yeah. So mm. over here is the uh, indoor for the Barbarossa. Oh, I see. That's and so cool. No... I, I, did, I wanted to give them a bit of privacy, so there's only a little hole for people to look through. That's so fun, though. And it took me so long to finally realize how he did it. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! No, oh, that's why it's so clean. Yeah. I, I think I send you a message, like, what? <laughs> A Three days days. after you posted it, I was like, YES! I FINALLY KNOW HIM! <laughs> Yeah, and then oh, um, this. Yes. In, in, when the Beberusa need to be indoor for like a longer period of time, they can open up the middle hatch over here and they can also spend some time Sweet. in this. They can kind of shift around the holding areas depending on the, I love yeah, it. I love the it. animals. Oh, and the cables for the light. Oh. <laughs> and I know, I know oh, no. Mike, Mike whoop, has... Whoop. Mike has told me that we fawn too much over the shit we built, but shut up, Mike. This shit is cool. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll show you the stuff I'm most proud of later. But I, I think I sent you a thing. Like, I spent an entire evening on the most yeah. stupid detail. <laughs> we'll get to it. So uh, over here is kind of more for the Red River Hogs. They are still able to go in and out as they please. Um, so that's all I'll find oh, then. Oh my god, I understand what you've done. Oh my god, you... Wait, that's a door. Yeah, those doors and their cables that match up with... You made a whole <laughs> lever system. Whoa. So, uh, over here we have indoor viewing for the bongo. Um, I've never really seen that much bongo indoor viewing, uh, except for bingo. the one at our bingo, host. Bingo, bongo. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good. That's a good episode title. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, at our Hansu, the oh, Bongo wow. have oh, these oh, little holes oh. to through. Um, so that's what I took the inspiration from for the holes. And these uh, it gives them a lot more privacy. These, just... these, little, these little holes, they are awesome. <laughs> they are <Right>. awesome. <laughs> the fact that you use grunge pieces to make it seem like the, um, the, the design pieces. Kind of... Yeah. Yeah. That's... yeah. I, I was struggling so oh, much goodness. with this wall. I was like, <sighs> I, got a, I got a huge empty wall. Like, what? In the hell am I gonna do with this? And I decided to take the easy way out and just use these pieces. Okay, but, but I, I, I've, I've seen from the corner of my eye what you've done for the tape here, and I think it's what I think it, it is what I think it is. Yeah. So you yes. sent me a reference photo, and it really inspired me, and it's kind of the main reason I ended up doing the tape here. Um, do you know where that reference even came from? Uh. I, for, I think it's a German zoo, uh, ah, okay. but I'm not sure. Yeah, We are basing this a lot on European <laughs> zoos. Shut up. <laughs> this is an American zoo. It's very American. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we got we got some tapers over here. And oh, it's, it's awesome. They, they, these are, spaces are actually a lot bigger than uh, they are in that reference photo, as well as the required sizes for in the taper holders i think required is like half of this i love the dude and all the cables and the gates are correct yeah. ah. i love yeah. the yes. i really love like the little bark sandboxes mm -hmm. yeah that's also from so the reference hard. yeah and I, then, I, um, yeah i i haven't used the tiles that much to be honest because i i always didn't like the fact that i couldn't change the gray um mm -hmm. grout but you may actually made it look good, so that's that's I mean, really really when, impressive. When they're actually supposed to be tiles, then you can use them as yeah. tiles. They um they I, I noticed they look really good in like close quarters because the the I think it's the LOD. It's a little weird mm -hmm. on them. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> oh, and you wow. used you used like the little East Asian fountain thingy. Yeah, to give them a little bath in here as well. Oh. So this is another separation area. Uh, in case there's like a taper with a young or something that might need to be separated. Okay, I, I need to look up the word. Bonkers. <laughs> 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 you, 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 
the... I already found it. <laughs> you use the 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 um, for the pulleys. You use the 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 handle, which is insane. It's oh a little, little yeah. Pliant. Yeah. <sighs> Yeah, well, we'll have a look at the, the, the system. Yeah, so, go on, go on. This, show, this, us, <laughs> show us the thing that you're so proud of. Come yeah. on. So if we go through this door over here, uh, we come into the oh, back oh, section. Oh, oh, wait, wait, not... wait. Yeah, wait. okay. The markings. Yeah. The markings yeah. on the floor. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> awesome. So the back stage itself isn't finished, uh, yeah, but over here we can fine. take a look at the, at the pulley system. So at <laughs> first I made the pulley system with the same thing that Eben made for the um, Penguin House, where you had mm -hmm. like, you have a little like thing you can pull and then you like attach the rope you pulled to a little like handle or like hook uh, and it stays closed but then i realized for for a door this size you would have to like reach up very high and pull it all the way down uh, and it would not be very comfortable for the zookeepers to do that so i went to look at some references and i remember that when i was at wildlands uh, zoo i got into the uh, hippo stalls uh, and there they had this system, so I made that. So this system is like a little pipe with a handle in it that the rope goes into, and then you shift the, pie, uh, the, the handle all the way to the side, and that's how you pull open uh, the doors. So Awesome. Also, the fact, that, the fact that you split up a switch to make it look like... <laughs> oh, come on, that's the oldest trick yeah. in the book. Stop praising <laughs> me for stupid Yeah, shit. but no, that's cool. I haven't... I, I've never I seen, I've seen that anyone done. do that, though. What? Yeah. <laughs> I have seen plenty of people do that. Shut up. So, um, so okay, yeah, okay, okay. Over. It's okay. I'll I'll give you some feedback then. <laughs> yeah. Uh -oh. uh, and that's it's feedback that I've gotten in the past as well. You have these handles here, but you have mm. no way to look into the exhibit. Yeah, that's mm. true. So, yeah. there there you go. <laughs> yeah. no, guys, that's, guys, that's... believe it or not, believe it or not, we are actually friends. <laughs> <laughs> No, I, I thought about that, and I didn't know how to fix it, so <laughs> I considered putting up a camera, but I was lazy. So, yeah, that is it. Hey, 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 you wanted me to stop giving you compliments. I could have yeah. left it for what it was. You know, <laughs> no, you're right. No, that's, that's what we need. So, yeah, this goes uh, for all the tape here. Um, locks, so like the outer doors are mm -hmm. up here, and then these, and then on the other side, you can get into... Uh, yeah, there's some regular doors. I'm not sure if this layout works. I'm sure you could poke a ton of holes into it, but I didn't know how you could get to the other sides. Mm -hmm. um, so there's like doors over here that you would need to close for the tapers to yeah, pass yeah. through and mm -hmm. things, but or tapers. Right, different different yeah. Um, but yeah, what I liked here is that these doors uh, don't go up and down. They actually go side to side. So the attach points are like on the top of the door and they move like to the side and then all the way around. Uh, I thought that was neat. But yeah. Indeed. That is it. <laughs> That's it, so, he says. Bingo, Damn. bingo, bango, bongo. Bingo, bingo bango, yeah, bongo. The... I don't want to leave the Congo. Oh, no, 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 <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> See, why it gets a reference even. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, was, it, was this the, the Fallout reference? That yeah, was yeah. The Fallout reference. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, I, so I, I haven't even I haven't even played Fallout. I just listened to the Appalachia radio. Uh, <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh whatever. wait, hold up. Wait, was that always there? Turn around. What? The, the, no, 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 like the like that entrance to the. Oh yeah, no, that's not done. Don't look at but, it. But is that new? Know. Yes, I've, I've I've started it, but I didn't have time to do anything with it. Don't look at it. <laughs> it. It doesn't exist. <laughs> it will be finished at some point. So yeah, that was that was it for me today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, yeah, and this is awesome. Yeah, dude. I, ho I hope it at least followed up Caesar somewhat. <laughs> oh, uh, God. How, do you, how do you follow that that's, up? Yeah, see, that's actually why I didn't want to go after Caesar. <laughs> <laughs> not, not, not that yeah. I was too busy. Yeah, you were you were really eager. No, 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 go on. You can take it for another episode. No, yeah. no, no, it's fine. <laughs> get, those, get those views, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks. I uh, I enjoyed not having to leave the file for two months. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, hey. Wyatt, what are you going to do next episode now? Because now it is your turn. Unf not not unfortunately. Um, 
Hmm. I'm thinking I'm gonna like keep going with the polar bears and do some mer- other marine mammal exhibits yeah. mm-hmm. in that area to the left. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you've um, shared you've shared a picture of what you wanted to do with the uh, yeah. Otters. I did. I did post the, a little reference uh, picture. The marine otter, the sea otters. My God, <laughs> the marine otters. Yeah, marine there is otters. actually such a thing. Yeah, exactly. Go on. Ha ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> There are marine otters, so yeah, the ones that you shared for the sea otters, that was really cool. Yeah, Can't I'm gonna definitely go off that a fair bit, but yeah, exciting. Exciting yeah. stuff. Well, we're looking forward to it, uh, and we'll see you then. So, make sure to subscribe to Wyatt. Make sure to subscribe to Eben, and make sure you in the to next subscribe episode. to Goron. No, nah, nah, don't, don't do that. Nah, no, he doesn't deserve it. He's he a- has plenty. Let me catch up. <laughs> 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 All right, see you. Bye-bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>